Win for a wonderful audience. We run, we win. This is your friend James. And I'm, I've already started, but I figured I might as well make a video because the chances of us doing this again are probably low to zero. But anyways, we got some uh, French bread that went in the oven for, uh, we set the oven for um, uh, five minutes, turned it on 350, and when it finished, we stopped it. So it was actually preheating the oven to 350. And uh, I'll just show you the bread we got. This is very good. This is a San Francisco French bread. So I don't know who made it. I guess San Francisco made it. So that's the bread we're using. And now I'm in the process of uh, putting this Prego in there. Just putting Prego on this. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, I, wow. Uh, the other title it's it's basically just some pepperoni stuff because we we had some pepperoni left over from pizza because you can actually stick pepperoni in pizza did you know that <gasps> you can put pepperoni in pizza um but uh so first of all in order to get the oven the uh, the nice little oven thing fresh thing you know we did we'll do that but anyway so there's the obviously it's prego chunky you you know use some real you know guys come on believe god for prosperity y'all <laughs> use some real stuff don't go the cheap route because you don't put cheap stuff in your car so let's see what we're looking for found some italian seasoning yay italian seasoning should have already had this out because i was doing this video oh and here's some garlic powder we're gonna do the base of what we like to add to it oh and we have some oregano you got you always want to have that and let's see is there something else we can add um oh oh, oh we don't have the onion i need to go buy some more onions but we'll substitute that with some crushed red pepper and so Mmm, that tasted good. Thing tastes good all by itself. We're just putting a little base on it, a uh, base of flavoring. By the way, you can do you can you can add these flavors to um, a store bought pizza too. If you if you did, don't put too much. This is real red peppers. Uh, you can put it if you buy a store bought pizza, Red Baron, DiGiorno, you can or even a little small. Uh, party pizza things by Tost Totino's you can actually um oops don't want to put too much on there you can actually put a uh, add this to it and it uh liven up your pizza you know so parents that's something to consider add this to your uh you know you can put oregano when you're doing your spaghetti and uh when you're doing the noodles and you can add this to the sauce so be a little bit creative, you know, ask God to show you some how to be creative when you're doing it. And, and most kids will enjoy that stuff. So we got that. The next thing that we're going to add is, of course, 100 years of quality. Celebrating 100 years of quality. Craft Italian. It has five cheeses, slow shredded. Let's see. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, assaggio, and romano cheeses. So we're just gonna put this on here. This is um do that. Uh we're gonna put this on here. Um and um, la 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 um now, on a, on a normal circumstances, you put this in the oven, right? <laughs> but ain't nobody got time for that. And the reason why we're doing this is because we had leftover pepperoni by Armour. Uh, armor, armor, armor. I don't, we don't usually get much stuff by them. But anyways, just got some pepperoni. Because this is what was left over from the pizza. You, Yes, parents, you can put pepperoni on pizza I mean I mean sorry what's that stuff called uh um 
Spaghetti. You can put pepperoni on spaghetti. Uh, so, if this, of course, tastes good, we will do it again. If, of course, this tastes bad, we will not do it again. And so, I think I will use the oven. Everything's already cooked, so basically all we're going to do, so I'll, I'll turn the oven back on. As I'm looking at the way this stuff is sitting on this thing, I might not be able to stick it in the microwave. But you normally, you could do this. Yes, you could do this with a microwave, so you can just do it and just... We're basically just going to stick it in there until the cheese gets melted. So, and then of course we add one last bit. We add the cheese on top. So, this may look really super filling, but... Yeah, we actually... I had to actually cut these into separate slices the tops and the bottoms of the things uh, if you're real lazy you could just you know jam it in there you know and try to make us one of those hoagie things so that's the italian cheese and then we get to put it on a thing this is farberware got it from uh what's that uh, uh what's that place we got it from kmart we're just gonna stick this in here and this is great if you're ever making french fries or something you can spray stuff on for french fries but if you're ever doing a uh, uh chicken things or whatever you can actually just um chicken french fries whatever you're cooking it'll be uh uh oh uh oh i, I want to go on top of the thing directly i wasn't planning on putting this in the in the oven that's why if that's why I wasn't prepared. That's why I was on this because I just put this in the oven too. That's how you can toast bread in the oven. So this is going to go inside the oven uh, for, and I'll just watch it till it's melted and I'll give you a time frame. So, hmm. Well, I'll open up the timer. So, uh, not timer, stopwatch. And so I'll put that in the oven. It's on 350. Middle rack. 350, middle rack, you see? <laughs> Things in the way. Uh, I'm moving this whole stand. Like, you know, the what stand. So there it is. So, you, so now you get the, the, the oven shot of it going in. Uh, and then we'll see when this thing finishes. And we're going to start this timer right now. By the way, I'm doing it in five minute increments, you know, till the cheese melts. And then I'll give you... The final time at the end but that's how i was doing it that's how i'm doing it just to let you know i'm a i'm a check you're not just gonna leave it and then just walk out the room i mean come on oh and while and let's zoom back <laughs> and while i'm at it i'll just show you we made some uh uh what's this stuff called um coleslaw homemade coleslaw <gasps> so basically here it is we uh it, it ended up being in the uh oven for seven minutes and that's pretty much so that's good it, it, it you probably might want to spray a little bit on the bottom but yes it seemed to come out really really well and then well, let's go ahead and plate these things so here is the final plating of the food of course normally you could put the uh coleslaw in the center where i stuck the uh what's his name but i you know where i stuck these chips but i like to have my stuff separated but this is it. This uh, you put you can put it right there, so it looks all nice and green. But you know, like I said, I don't like I, I I don't care for I like my stuff separated. Well, I meant to say I like my vegetables off away from my food usually, especially if it's cold stuff. But anyways, live move be.